Welcome back to Metal Magic. Today, we're going to do some riveting using round head standard rivets. So, one of the fundamental skills of building a metal airplane is riveting two pieces of metal together. This is just an example. We've got a little flange and we've got a piece of sheet. We're going to drill a line of rivet holes, clico them up, and then we're going to enlarge them, we're going to deburr them, and then we're going to insert and squeeze some round head rivets. There are other ways to set rivets and we'll cover those another day, but for now we're going to use the squeezer. So the first thing we need to do, we've already marked the line of rivets, we've got some, some pre-drilled rivets like you might have in a kit. We're going to match drill those to the under to the substructure and then we're going to have to enlarge those to the to the final size. So let me just go ahead and drill this line carefully not to drill through my finger. Okay, so now we've located all of our holes. <clears throat> Now we're going to up drill that from the 40 drill to a 30 drill to get ready for, core, for eighth inch rivets. And we're going to go to a bigger Clico. Work our way down the line. we go. Now it would be tempting to say we're all set to rivet, but we're not. We have to take this apart and deburr the holes. We'll use our little motorized tool. We have to deburr both sides of all the holes, both pieces. A lot of times you're going to find the deburring is very tedious, takes a lot of time. Um, many people will will drill up an entire structure, then take it all apart, and then sit in front of the TV, deburring all the holes, and you can take plenty of time to do that. It's not something that takes a lot of thought process or attention, but you want to make sure that you don't over deburr. You don't want to countersink your holes. You just want to get those burrs off. So you have the mating surfaces sit nice and tight to each other, and when you run your fingers down the line of holes, you don't cut yourself. Okay, so they're all cleaned up. Now we're going to take and clico those pieces back together and get ready to rivet. All set. The typical round head rivet, these are dash fours, so they're an eighth of an inch in diameter shank, a nice factory head on one side. In order to squeeze those, we have to have a squeezer, and I'm using a pneumatic, but you could just as well use a hand squeezer. Um, when you get to the, to the business end, they're going to look the same. Um, you're going to have a yoke, and then you're going to have a die for the round head that fits in there, and then a flat die on the other side, which is going to form the shop head. The rivet's going to go through the piece, and we want to have about one and a half diameters of the rivet sticking through to form the shop head. So you, there's a little bit of trial and error in setting up the, the, the distance when you've looked at it before. You kind of get an idea of about how much you want to compress that. And I've got a, an approximate close thing. You want to be a little bit bigger than you want to end up because you can always close it up a little bit more later, but uh, you can't unsqueeze the rivet. So we're going to Put the, the domed head in that little depression and then tighten it up and squeeze it. And that's all there is to it. Now we're going to take our little tool and see if we've squeezed it enough. And since this hole actually goes over the tail of the rivet, it hasn't been squeezed quite enough. So we're going to go ahead and, and give this about a half a turn on the adjuster and then we're going to squeeze it a little more and then we'll check it again. And now it doesn't go through, so we've got the right size 
the right setting. Now since we're doing a line of rivets, that job was to make sure that we, that we had it set properly and now we can do the rest of our rivets. So that's all there is to squeezing rivets. You have a good, a good pneumatic squeezer or a hand squeezer. You can also shoot rivets using a rivet gun and a bucking bar. We'll talk about that another time. In the meantime, thanks to Aircraft Spruce for sponsoring this series and thanks for watching. Okay, we need to cut it there. Well, I go get some rivets. <laughs> <laughs>